Gedel Stone Procedure for Femoral Neck Fractures in the Elderly. Gedel Stone Procedure is a salvage procedure. It means removal or a section of the femoral head and neck of the femur. The affected femoral head is removed as you can see in this picture. It is usually done in the following situation, severely painful hip, and a total hip cannot be done such as in cases of severe infection of the hip or in a non-ambulatory cerebral palsy patient with painful hip dislocation or in some cases of selected tumors of this area. It is a salvage procedure, means it is the lesser of two evil, or it is the final alternative procedure. This procedure may have a role in cases of displaced femoral neck fractures or in cases of failed internal fixation of femoral neck fractures in the debilitated elderly patient. Let's agree that in the elderly patient, hypothesis unipolar or bipolar, usually cemented, is the ideal surgical procedure for a displaced femoral neck fractures especially if the patient is debilitated and old. In an active elderly patient, total hip replacement should be considered. Sometimes the medical condition, the age of the patient, does not support or allow the use of a prosthesis in the elderly. I use girdle stone procedure in some cases of displaced femoral neck fracture in the elderly, especially if the patient is debilitated and non-ambulatory and when the medical comorbidities are almost prohibitive for surgery, such as chronic renal failure, which is the worst, and others including COPD and congestive heart failure. Even if the prosthesis could be done, the pre-injury cognitive and physical function is predictive of postoperative functional outcome after hip fracture surgery. And this select group of patients will not be functional with the prosthesis. The purpose of the procedure is to decrease the pain and to preserve the life of the patient despite a considerable shortening of the extremity. It is an alternative to hospice or alternative care. It is the simplest and the least complex procedure for the patient. Counseling to the patient and the family should be done. This procedure can be done anteriorly or posteriorly. You don't need to action postoperatively. You get the patient out of bed immediately you do physiotherapy early. You will keep the patient in a step down or ICU for a few days after surgery. And the patient should be admitted by the geriatric service in cooperation with the trauma service. Surgery should be done within 48 hours or as soon as the patient is optimized medically because that could decrease mortality rate. Sometimes optimization of the patient is not that easy. The mortality rate is 25% at one year and 6% during the hospitalization. The pre-injury mobility is the most significant determinant factor for post-operative survival. In patients with femoral neck fractures, surgery in weekends was associated with increased in-hospital mortality. So it is better to do this surgery on weekdays. If you try to do simple procedure, such as fixation of the displaced femoral neck fractures, the failure rate is about 46% with fixation techniques in the elderly. There is a growing number of people over 90 years of age 
who will suffer from femoral neck fractures. And these patients will need decisions and appropriate care for this situation. Advanced age is associated with increased mortality and poor functional recovery. So we need to think of new ways to approach the increased number of femoral neck fractures in the elderly. And I think girdle stone procedure should be utilized in some select indications. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.